Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. Today we're at Embassy Suites by Hilton, Nashville, South Cool Springs in Franklin, Tennessee. Come along with us as we show you around a suite, give a full hotel tour, check out the hotel at night, chow down on the complimentary breakfast, and tell you our final review. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. Check-in is at 4 p.m., check-out at 11 a.m. Here at our room, 807. It's the next to, it's almost the top floor. We're one floor down from the top floor, but here we go. It's the first time we've seen our room. Ooh, I like it. Let's get some, oh, the light's already on. Okay, now I've actually got some lights on. Got a nice couch. Look, it's got an ottoman. It's one of those couches with the long cushion. I don't know what those are officially called as couches, but it's a cool couch nonetheless. Got side table. I love the way the windows go out into the lobby. I stayed at a Hyatt once in Knoxville when I was a kid that had rooms like this. Our room, when we stayed at the Embassy Suites in Secaucus, New Jersey, we were in the corner, so we did not have a room like this. Looks like a 42 inch TV. Got our do not disturb sign on the door, or on the table for the door. And look, you can scan there. You're either digital guest services directory. Let's see if there's anything down here. You just never know. Nope, just a TV cabinet. I'm liking this room. I am really liking this. Nice table to sit and eat at with the phone, another lamp. I think that might be the internet in that white box. But yeah, there's the chair. Nice chairs. Really like this room. So then we have our kitchenette, and this is a suite. Um, at the time that we came, we were able to get this for about $126, surprisingly enough. You'd think it would be more. There's our coffee maker. Got a sink. And let's see what's in here. I don't know what this is. Ooh, got all sorts of teas, coffee. Wow, decaf and regular. Is there more? Oh, wow, it's all layered. It's like one of those uh, nesting dolls, Russian nesting dolls. So there's stuff you need for coffee. And Embassy Suites napkins, lids. Oh, wow. That's really cool, the way that's, that's set up. So you can just put it away and it just looks fancy and nice. Ice bucket, we got Embassy Suites by Hilton Cups. Ooh, love the Embassy Suites. There's our microwave. Our fridge. There we go, nice spacious fridge with a freezer section. It's always nice. And they did give us free water when we came. They gave it to us down at the front desk. And there's the safe underneath the sink. I am liking this, liking this a lot. So let's go to the bedroom before we go to the bathroom. That sounds awkward, but I'm gonna show you the bathroom. <laughs> Very, uh, that reminds me of, but uh, not Picasso, but um, the guy who painted the starry sky, Van Gogh. That's what that reminds me of. Here's another lamp, the clock radio, another phone. Wonder how comfortable these beds are. And we've got a view out onto the office buildings, because this Embassy Suites is nestled right in a little office building area. And you have the hills of Franklin in the background. See, there's a house on that hill right about there. And there's the roof down there. You got another TV. I think this is about the same size, 42 inches probably. You have drawers and a desk with a nice desk chair. 
Nice lamp too. Really like this lamp. Okay. Oh, is this uh this is probably for a connecting room. Oh, maybe not. Might just be a closet. No, it's a closet. Wow, that's some extra bedding, clothes hangers, but the uh, iron, ironing board, and the luggage holder. Looks a little fancier than most of them do. Yeah, look at that. Nice spacious closet. So now we can head into the bathroom and check it out. Small, let's get that light on. Small but nice. Yes. Yep. There's the hair dryer in the corner. There's tissues, toilet paper. And oh, look at the body lotion on the wall. I like that. That's plenty of body lotion. And then a bar of soap, 0%. Looks natural. Like the natural soap. So they probably have for the shower. Yep. They have it attached to the shower. So it's the zero. Shower gel, conditioner, shampoo, and nice shower pattern. And you have some shelves. Very nice. How soft is it? Oh. Very, is it good? Very soft, very comfy. That's good. Mm -hmm. Good night's sleep. So I tried to open the window, but it apparently does not open anymore, probably for lawsuit reasons. And look, that cloud kind of looks like a spaceship, and that one looks like a whale. There's a house or something on that hill in the distance. Now I want to showcase the view when you walk outside of our hotel room. And see, you come right out, and there you go. And a nice view down into the lobby. Here at Embassy Suites in Franklin, Tennessee. Beautiful hotel, like all Embassy Suites. I don't think there is an ugly Embassy Suites out there. We've got some planters over there, and they've got it decked out for Halloween. Some nice plant life. Some Halloween decorations outside near the door. So now we'll head inside, see this beautiful hotel. It is gorgeous. Water features and all that. Very nice. Very nice. Just get all this, just take all this lobby in. It's very nice. We'll start off over here. Got a picture of downtown Franklin. Okay, downtown square, Franklin, Tennessee. And I've got a story about that statue. The hat was chipped by a horse getting wrapped up in it and bringing it down when they were putting it up way back in the day. So they have a lot of nice plant features around here. You come into the lobby, you look up, you've got a skylight. It's very nice. Come around. There's an ATM, if you need an ATM. Got another picture of downtown Franklin with some cool light effects. That's just downtown Main Street. And this is the conference center area. That's not Franklin, picture of Franklin. So you got the Birch Room over here. Yeah, whole conference center. Looks like you can rent a car here. Some more pictures. And 
looking at a public restroom, because this is for the conference center. Oh, and even a little sitting area. That's nice. Yeah, little public restroom area. Here's kind of a glimpse into the conference room. They're setting up for something right now. And you got another little sitting area. I'm wondering what this thing is. A picture of Korean War Veterans Memorial Bridge, Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, I like that. So yeah, this is more of the conference center down there. They were kind of holding something already. You got the Walnut Street Bridge in Chattanooga, randomly. Nowhere near Chattanooga, about two hours. And it looks like more conference center. You got more pictures. Elmi Plantation in Nashville. This is cool. I like when they put these little TV screens on the um, conference room doors. Some more art. There's art all around this hotel, and I like the lamps or the wall sconces. Where's this at? Tennessee countryside. Could be anywhere. Look at that. It's nice. And more Tennessee countryside. And Bellamy Plantation again. And we reach the end. So we're in the kind of restaurant area. This is the breakfast area. And they have free breakfast and kind of a free snack time with free drinks. So in the morning, this will be all decked out with food. And they even have an omelet bar. There's some more Franklin. A big clock. So yeah, very nice. Little cafe area. Then you got main area, got the elevator going up. Love that. Come over here. Now this is the restaurant. We will have a separate video on this restaurant today to see if you want to experience it for yourself. I love how everything's just in the middle though. There's really no separate rooms per se. And all sorts of sitting areas as well. And the middle area is the best. We'll go there in a second. So yeah, there's the restaurant. Come down this way, see what's down here. Ooh, what is that? Harlan Cell Farm, Franklin, Tennessee. And here's the I guess you can get your Amazon packages delivered here if you want to. And this is really nice. Let's see. Seven Islands Wildlife Refuge, Kodak, Tennessee. We're pretty far from Kodak. But what's in here? Oh, the pool. So in the pool area, some water fountains, some public restrooms. There's a vending machine back here. And there's the fitness room. And it looks like the showers are back here, so they actually provide showers and then some restrooms. And there is no one in the pool right now, so let's go in. So it's a very small pool. <laughs> There's very random decor, like um, Pegasus, a Pegasus, and a mermaid. So yeah, you can get the perspective. It's an indoor pool. And you can see into the workout room from here. Yeah. I wonder how much it's used since this is kind of a business person area. Let's go out here. It looks like just a little outdoor sitting area because it's not for smoking because it does say no smoking on there. Just a little outdoor sitting area. The swimming pool is a saltwater pool. So the shower by the pool, just an open shower. So it's a shower you take in your bathing suit. As you can see, it's just out here in the restroom area. Here is the fitness center. 
this thing out. Got all sorts of weights. Ooh, loud door, medicine ball. Got this weight area over here. And a big exercise ball. I think this is a Peloton. Yes, a Peloton, just like they had at the Black Fox Lodge, which I was impressed with. Stair stepper machines and treadmill. And then you've got the towel area with some water and the guidelines. And a cool wall design. You can see out into the pool. So it's nice, very nice. Okay, so now we're heading back out into the main area. Looks like more public restrooms. So there's no shortage of public restrooms here, which is nice. So I love how it's all separated. And now our, the hotel in New Jersey that we stayed at, the Embassy Suites, did not have like a river, which is what this is. And that is so cool. Look at this fountain. Super nice, very nice. So over here are the front desks, other more seating areas, nice and spread out around here. Got a little welcome area, maps. Franklin visitor guides. I got some snacks. Anything you might need, like medicine and chips. Now here's the business center. It's just right out in the open. And we'll go in and check it out. It's open 24 seven. So you get a couple of computers, printer, looks like even a scanner. Some nice art. Looks like even some business supplies. This probably used to be a gift shop, but it's nothing now. It's like a storage room. Now the elevator area. There's three elevators. I think only two are working currently. One of the cool things, the coolest things about an Embassy Suites is the fact that the rooms are all out on, I don't know what you call these, balcony hallways maybe? But you can just look down into the lobby and everything's pretty centralized in an Embassy Suites. Now our room is one floor down from the top. You can see there's the next floor. And right over here you have the ice maker. And you have the guest laundry. There's no need to really go in there. It's just a laundry room. Although, maybe we do want to show that. The way you pay for it. Because that's pretty neat. Yeah. So they have a little machine to pay for the washer and dryer if you need to clean your clothes when you're here. So for some reason, some of the ninth floors are only accessible if you're staying on them. So there are more conference rooms on the second floor. I didn't notice that till tonight. 
And there's some, there's a seating area up here as well. Yeah, the Williamson and the Franklin. Ooh, it's actually open. Huh, it's a little conference room. And also from the conference rooms, another public restroom. There are so many public restrooms here. If you're up for it, there is a walking trail right next to the hotel. Can't see it behind those trees, but the hotel is right over here. And it is called the Nissan Trail because Nissan is based here and it's just around the corner actually. They even provide if you have a wet umbrella bag. So here's the free snacks that they provide. It's like it's Chex Mix, cheese, crackers. So just a small little snack selection. Out here in the middle of everything, they have a kid zone where kids can color and get their artwork featured on the wall. Got some Disney properties and just some random properties. There's Mr. Potato Head. There's My Little Pony. And generic dog. Woody and generic. No, no, that's that might be Ariel. At least this one looks more like Ariel. can see Rosie down here coloring actually there's a light in the way <laughs> I come over here to see her there she is Rosie's artwork is finished and man that pumpkin looks derpy I don't quite know what to make of it is it does it look funny leave us comments let us know what you think I think this pumpkin looks kind of off <laughs> maybe that's why Spike has the uh, pumpkin cutter maybe he's gonna put it out of its misery <laughs> <laughs> There's Rosie down there. Got a nice view while we're just sitting and reading. This Embassy Suites offers pet-friendly rooms. However, there is a $75 pet fee. If you stay five nights or more, it's $125. Aside from a normal suite, Embassy Suites also offers pure wellness suites. These rooms are good for allergy-sensitive people as they have a special air filtration system plus hypoallergenic bedding. There are also hospitality suites, which appear to offer a conference room area. There is also the presidential suite, which is much nicer than your basic room. According to the website, parking is $10 a day. We were not aware of this. It must have been included in the fees. The website also says that Wi-Fi costs $9.95. We were able to use the Wi-Fi without paying anything. However, that cost may have been included in the fees we paid up front. Here's the view from our hotel room at night. See the Marriott up in the distance. I don't know if you can see the plane way yeah. up there. I did. 
I saw that, yeah, you can see it blinking, yep. It's a plane off in the distance. So there's really nothing going on outside because these are all office buildings. Maybe there's still some people at work, I don't know. see our room from the elevator. It's the one where you can see the lamp inside the window. Time for the breakfast. We have all sorts of stuff. Uh, toast and bagels, English muffins, maple syrup in a fancy little dispenser. All the accoutrements from peanut butter to butter. Juice. Looks like there's something over here. Ooh, it's toppings. This is where you make, uh, what is this, like, oh, it's oatmeal. And then they have all sorts of toppings, from cranberries to chocolate chips to that coconut, uh, brown sugar, and granola. That's interesting. It's pretty cool. So orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, all sorts of teas. You got your, the coffee over here, all the things that go in the coffee. There's decaf, bold, and just regular. You got fountain drinks. And then, see that looks like grits, waffles, hash browns, eggs. Different kinds of fruit, yogurt, ooh, pineapple, and cantaloupe, I guess, ooh, pastries. It's good. There's even an omelet bar over there. Just give my piece, okay? <laughs> You wanted a fresh egg. <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook it, Rosie. He's the chef. Yeah, I have to cook it. If I cook it for you, you have to get your own egg. <laughs> deal, before I get that. Deal or not deal? Say a deal. deal. Say a deal. Deal. Right. We'll do something. <laughs> it's gone the floor. You have to clean the floor. <laughs> you really got her. I know I can get it. Then milk, the cereal, 
And they don't have the fake lucky charms like they seem to have had at every other place we've been to. <laughs> Here's Rosie's omelet that she went through so much turmoil for. <laughs> so NBC Suites. I will say up front that I think Embassy Suites hotels are some of the best hotels out there. They're not the fanciest and they're not the not fanciest, but they are pretty fancy at the same time. The staff at this Embassy Suites is amazing. From the front desk people to the guy making the omelets, as you saw <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Very entertaining, he put on a show and everything, to the people just cleaning up after you after your breakfast. They are nice, kind, and they think about the customer more than most hotels do. The lady at the front desk actually asked us what floor we wanted to be on, whether we wanted to be on you know, the right side or the left side of the hotel. I mean, just, she gave us a choice. We, we never get that at a hotel. I mean, it's very rare. Sometimes we do, but it's very rare. Uh, just the employees in general, just very caring toward the customers, the people staying at the hotel. The rooms are great. They were clean. You can tell there wasn't anything left behind. Like even at some of the nicer hotels, they didn't clean out the fridge or they didn't clean up wrappers or something like that. But here just immaculately clean. The beds were comfortable. The furniture, there's, uh, the couch is nice. I, I love this couch. I think it's a great couch. There's lighting everywhere. There's about, how many lamps would you say are in here? Uh, one. There's Three, at least five or six. Yeah, there's two tall the ones. Like I don't know if you guys can see the one behind us, but there's two of those, and then there's three, maybe four little ones. And two TVs, just great rooms. And I love how you can look out the window and see the hotel. I love the way these hotels are designed. Everything is just wrapped around this central location downstairs. Plus they have water features, which is great. Something I think that is missing from malls nowadays. Malls used to always have water features and they're getting rid of them at all the malls, but Embassy Suites still keeps the water features and they're not all the same. We stayed at one in New Jersey, which you can see that video as well, Secaucus, New Jersey, and they had a waterfall in theirs. Here they have a kind of a, a what do you call it, fountain with a little river kind of running beside it, which is nice. I like this one better than the one in New Jersey. The waterfall was not that impressive there, but that was still a nice hotel. It's no longer an Embassy Suites. It's called Harmony Suites now, I think, but that's a whole other story. The breakfast was very tasty. You had an omelet bar, you had bacon, sausage, eggs. The waffles were not very good. They tasted stale, but Waffles at a hotel, probably never a good idea to get anyways, but they had all sorts of different toppings that you could put on, so I wanted a waffle because of that. One thing that I noticed was the uh, omelets bar was amazing. I don't think we've ever really experienced that when they make an, an omelet ready for you, like you order how you want it. Yeah, no extra cost. And then the bacon and sausage, I thought was very smart, and then they kept it behind the, where, where the omelet station was to kind of, I guess, regulate. But he but was still very he generous. He was still very generous about it. Like if you just went up and you wanted bacon, he gave you just bacon. And, and going... he gave you about what, four slices mm -hmm. at the very least, four things of bacon. And then going back to how you were saying about the st friendliness of the staff, it's very Disney friendly. Like, and what we mean is the employees, the employees at Disney are very yes. good. No matter what you think about Disney the company, the employees are usually very customer focused. And that's what this, like a lot of hotels, it's not really that way. Every employee here seems to be focused to be 100% to keep, to keep you happy and ask how you're doing and be nice and just nice. The hotel even provides snacks at night. They're nothing impressive. Like at the Drury Hotel, they provide an actual dinner, but they never promise a dinner here. It's just a, a time of snacks, cheese, crackers. And they did have wine available, so... Yes, but I think it was an extra cost. It was kind of confusing. I, I, the alcohol... But it wasn't expensive alcohol. Like, no. I think beers were $3, yeah. 
wine was for. And maybe that's why they went with the cheese, cheese and wine. Cheese and wine, yeah, cheese, wine, and crackers. That's the pool is nothing impressive, but it's a pool. It's an indoor pool. You can go anytime, and we're not in Pigeon Forge, so you're not going to find a slide or anything. But it's a nice pool. It's it's decent, and the workout room is decent. Has they have every weight size you could think of. They have a Peloton, so it's pretty impressive too. For how nice Embassy Suites is, the pricing is very, very affordable, I feel like. We were able to get this room for $126 before taxes and fees. After taxes and fees, it's closer to $200. They do have a lot of taxes and fees, but that's every hotel. I think on a normal basis, if you come in a busier season, this room, which you saw, it's a suite, would probably be closer to about $200 as the base pay. Which is but still really not bad for a suite. Yes, which I mean, is... You get two TVs, is it like two beds? Yeah, I, I, I think this is a fair price for an Embassy Suites. And like I said, I'm just very impressed with Embassy Suites. They're part of Hilton, and I feel like Hilton hotels usually go above and beyond, but I feel like Embassy Suites goes an even bigger step above what Hilton does. I think they're kind of the... They're the impressive side of Hilton, even if they're not the most expensive side. Usually the actual Hilton hotels are usually a little bit more fancy and nice, but I feel like Embassy Suites just stands apart and stands above the rest. And they're, they're not very common. You don't see Embassy Suites very often. Talking of fancy, the soaps and shampoos in the bathroom are top of the line. They all natural, 100% natural, and they're not really the cheapest of cheap. <laughs> we Rosie looked them up online and they're pretty pricey to buy. So that's impressive that they just put them in the room for you to use. I mean, granted, you can't take them with you. They're attached to the wall. And this is probably must be a new thing Embassy Suites has done because when we went a couple of years ago to the one in New Jersey, they did not have this brand. When it comes to negatives, I honestly don't have any. I can't think of any negatives. I don't think Rosie can either. So we definitely recommend this. I would give it a five out of five seals of approval. I would definitely give it a 5 out of 5 if I could, give it even a 6, six out of 10 out of 10. I mean, this has been a great experience. Because you'd have to take the overall picture. Staff, all extra friendly, extra nice. It was a great experience from the moment we walked in the doors and checked in. Yeah, they gave us free water too. And they gave everybody. I mean, we saw everybody else was getting free water as, we, as they came in. But it's just, it really matters. From the moment you walk in, to the experience you have from the front desk right up until you leave and I can't I can't honestly say that we have had that a great experience from the moment we walked in until until checkout time I don't know how you feel can you say that is there been a hotel where we felt felt had a 100% great experience from the very start to the very end I guess not Black Fox Lodge comes close but I would say it hasn't been as good of an experience as this one has overall. I think for me what really tops it off is breakfast. The wait staff were very very sweet, very friendly, and I really had a great experience with the omelet situation. Yeah, he really played Rosie. Well, I didn't quite know how to take him because I was like, are you being serious? Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> Alex kind of had to coach me to play along. <laughs> but I think to say all this, we definitely recommend this hotel. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Have you ever stayed in an Embassy Suites? What did you think? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is in the description, or you can click on one of the buttons below to give through YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.